Often seen as simply a beach destination, Tunisia has a bucket full of surprising tourist attractions and things to do for those that venture off the sandy shores. Tunisia was Rome's breadbasket, and the cultural riches the Romans left behind are more than enough reason to visit. But the history of Arab empires has also bestowed the country with some of the region's most beautiful examples of Islamic architecture. In this video, we explore the best things to do in Tunisia. We've collected a list of the top things to do in Tunisia, so make sure to include them in your list if you're a visitor. At first in the list, number one, El Gem Amphitheater. The walls of the mighty Roman amphitheater of El Gem dwarf the surrounding modern town. This incredibly well-preserved Roman relic is Tunisia's big sightseeing highlight. One of the most popular things to do on day trips from the coastal resorts. And one of the best examples of amphitheater architecture left standing in the world. The monumental bulk of the walls are a reminder of Rome's once mighty grip across North Africa. Number 2. Carthage if you're looking for the picture-perfect beach escape, then the island of Jerba checks all the right boxes. The island town of Hound Souk is the main point of interest off the beach, with an old town district that is a muddle of whitewashed houses. Hound Souk's shopping is an attraction in itself, with plenty of handicraft vendors for browsing and haggling opportunities off the beach. But it's those sandy strips of shoreline out of town that are the island's most popular highlight. Number 3. Sidi Bou said, impossibly cute. An amazingly photogenic, Sidi Bou said is a clifftop village of petite dimensions that seem to have fallen off an artist's canvas. Unsurprisingly, artists have faded this little hamlet. Now a high-class suburb of the capital Tunis, for decades. The whitewashed alleyways, wrought iron window frames, and colorful blue doors are Tunisian village architecture at their finest, while the Mediterranean backdrop is the cherry on top. Number 4. Kerwa. With mosques, madrasas, and tombs aplenty, Kerwa has more than its fair share of monuments as the fourth most important city for those of the Muslim faith. The Arabic architecture here is truly inspiring, and the skyline is full of skinny minarets and bulky domes. But it's probably the back alleys of the city's Medina that steal the show. With narrow, maze-like lanes lined with crumbling colorful houses, Kerwa's old town has an enchanting, Lost in time atmosphere that is a true highlight of a visit here. Number 5. Sous Medina, overlooked by the mighty fortifications of the Ribbit and Kasbah. The Medina in Sous just begs to be explored. This lovely old town district is a warren of looping lanes, rimmed by whitewashed houses, and a shopping paradise with a tempting selection of ceramics, leatherwork, and metalwork on display. Away from the stalls along the bustling souk streets, the quiet and rambling back alleys, dusted in white and blue, are a charming place to dive in and sample local life. Number 6. Shot El Jared. This sprawling salt pan, most easily reached on a day trip from the desert town of Tozer, is a desolate and otherworldly scene that wows all who visit with its stark and brutal beauty. The scenery here depends on the season you visit. In summer, the moonscape surroundings of the Shat El Jared are a storybook panorama brought to life, filled with shimmering mirages on the horizon and jigsaw puzzle pieces of blindingly white, cracked land underfoot. Number 7. Ham Mamet. Ham Mamet is all about the beach. This laid-back town on the Cap Bon Peninsula is Tunisia's top sun and sea resort, dedicated to easygoing beach vacations. The town itself, 
with its pretty white buildings set beside a bright blue sea, has bundles of Mediterranean charm, which woos all who come to sunbathe on the soft, white sand. For many who come here, off-the-beach pursuits total up to nothing more strenuous than gentle strolls in the Medina. Old Town, and a spot of shopping in the restored Old Town souks. Number 8. Tunis Medina Although Tunisia's capital is mostly visited to view the two major tourist attractions of Carthage and the Bardo Museum, the Medina district of central Tunis is well worth spending an extra night in the city for. The winding alleys of this old town neighborhood, with their souks, shopping streets, mosques, and monuments, are fun to explore. Don't miss visiting the rooftop of the Amayadara Olive Tree Mosque, the Medina's most famous landmark. While wandering the Medina, and make sure to seek out the clutch of small museums and restored dars hidden within the narrow lanes. Number 9. Ribbit of Monaster One of Tunisia's most recognizable monuments, the Ribbit of Monaster was the earliest fortress built in Tunisia during the 8th century Abbasid conquest, and one of the earliest in the entirety of North Africa. This seafronting fortress is an exceptional example of medieval defensive architecture, with its main features of high crenellated walls, watchtowers, and internal courtyards. For many visitors, the Ribbit is most famous today because of its use as a film location during the mid-20th century, including its starring role in Monty Python's cult classic Life of Brian. At last in the list, number 10, Jerba. If you're looking for the picture-perfect beach escape, then the island of Jerba checks all the right boxes. The island town of Hound Souk is the main point of interest off the beach, with an old town district that is a muddle of whitewashed houses. Hound Souk's shopping is an attraction in itself, with plenty of handicraft vendors for browsing and haggling opportunities off the beach. Now it's time to hear from you what's your favorite things to do in Tunisia. Is there something we missed? Let us know in the comments section below. And don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to Greenable if you haven't already clicked the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.